Tino Sports Center will be over a college football game preview and prediction on a big matchup coming up here in week four of this 2021 season. And it's going to be between the Nebraska Cornhuskers and the Michigan State Spartans. Huge matchup coming up here in the Big Ten this weekend. We got Michigan State on one side. This team is 3-0. and and they're a huge surprise team so far in the Big Ten in this 2021 season. They've finally jumped into the top 25, and they're looking like a very talented team. As for Nebraska, Nebraska has played four games already this season, and they have really improved over their past four games, that is for sure. They started out the season with an absolutely terrible loss at Illinois, which now Illinois, of course, is 1-3. And, and last week, they kept it really close against a top three ranked Oklahoma team. So Nebraska has very much improved over the course of the season so far. And Michigan State on the flip side is looking to be a potential big surprise contender in the Big Ten. So that being said, we'll be going over a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today, starting out with their team trends. Last week, Nebraska lost to Oklahoma on the road 16 to 23. Obviously, I mean, a loss is a loss, but for Nebraska, they played very well in that matchup, in my opinion. And really, I mean, to keep it close against uh, third ranked Oklahoma on the road, uh, pretty, I mean, that was not a bad performance at all by Nebraska. They're two and two with a one game losing streak. As for Michigan State, they're currently ranked 20th in the nation. They absolutely destroyed Miami this past weekend, 38 to 17. They had no problems with the Hurricanes. Miami is just a mess right now. Meanwhile, Michigan State is 3 and 0. And overall, once again, Spartans are looking like a very good football team right now. I mean, a huge surprise. I mean, Peyton Thorne, of course, going into the season. We really did not know much about him, but from what we saw of him last season, I mean, it did not look like he was going to be a very good quarterback, but he's looked pretty good so far. And then, of course, you got Kenneth Walker, who is potentially the best running back in the Big Ten right now. So Michigan State has got a lot of talent on this team. Offensively, they look really good. And even on the defensive side, they also are looking pretty good. So Michigan State, this is a talented team that I think is for real uh, in this 2021 season, and they're 3-0. and the game will be on Saturday, September 25th, East Lansing, Michigan, and it's going to be at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So it is a night game in Michigan State. Uh, good news for the Spartans. Uh, the current spread is Michigan State by five, over unders 51 and a half, and the FBI is going heavily on Michigan State here, 73.4%. So the spread's keeping it pretty close between these two teams at five, but the FBI is going pretty heavily on Michigan State. So Really, I mean, the spread does not surprise me too much seeing it at five, but I think the FPI is going a little bit heavy on Michigan State here at 73%. Serious history, Nebraska's had much more success, leading at 9-2. to two. Win streak is Nebraska by two, and the last Michigan State win was in 2014. I believe that was when Michigan State was having an outstanding season um, in 2014. And overall, I mean, Michigan State, who knows, this could be another uh, huge season for this team, potentially to... I mean, Ohio State's already taken a loss, and the Big Ten East, I got to say, is pretty wide open right now. So if Michigan State can keep winning, we could potentially see the Spartans in the Big Ten Championship. It definitely is possible right now, especially with Ohio State not playing um, at the level that they're used to playing. Here's your stat comparison. Nebraska's got 29 points per game so far this season, 15 points allowed on average. They got 280 passers a game, 201 rush yards, and then for yards allowed, 191 passing, 156 rushing. As for Michigan State, 39 points per game, 17 points allowed. For pass yards per game, 256. Rush yards a game, 263. And once again, that really shows how big of an impact Kenneth Walker has had on this uh, rushing course so far this season. I mean, 263 average rush yards a game so far this season. Pretty outstanding. Yards allowed, 269 passing, 112 on the rushing end. Some key points for this one, Nebraska's 2-2, two and two, Michigan State's 3-0, and oh, of course. But Nebraska, once again, this is a very significantly improved team uh, over the past four weeks. And, I mean, if you look at them in week zero, I'm actually a Nebraska fan. So uh, if you guys have been following the channel, you guys would know that. But, yeah, I follow Nebraska very closely. And this is a Nebraska team. Looking at them in week zero, this team just looked lost in week zero against Illinois. And, I mean, Illinois, looking at them now, they're now 1-3. They've three. they lost three games since. And they've just looked terrible. So Nebraska played absolutely horrendous in week zero. But over the past four weeks, I mean, I've slowly been able to see this team improve. Um, against Fordham, they played very well, almost shut out Fordham. Uh, Buffalo, pretty good football team. They kept it really close against Coastal Carolina this past week, and Nebraska um, held Buffalo to a, I think it was three points in the end. And overall, I mean, Nebraska, I mean, last week against Oklahoma, 
also played really well. I mean, to keep it close like they did on the road, I mean, Nebraska, this team is very much improving, and I think Michigan State should not sleep on the Cornhuskers here. Adrian Martinez, he's having his best season yet, I'd say. And, I mean, this de this defense also held Oklahoma to 23 points last week. There was a stat. Apparently, Oklahoma scored 24 or more points um, in every game since 2016. So, Nebraska broke that streak. Um, and Nebraska's defense looks pretty good. Offensively, they're improving. And defensively, they um, certainly are looking pretty good. But for Michigan State, huge, su uh, huge surprise to me in the Big Ten so far this season at 3-0. Baton Thorne's looking solid. I mean, and Kenneth Walker, obviously, we saw stats earlier possibly the best running back in the Big Ten right now. So even defensively, Michigan State's been playing pretty well. So, I mean, this is going to be a huge game. Very intriguing matchup. I'd say this is probably one of the more interesting ones of week four for that reason. I mean, you got Michigan State. This is a team who's on the rise right now and potentially could be a Big Ten East star course. And then you got Nebraska on the flip side. This team is in a tough situation right now at two and two, and they probably need to make it to six wins in order for Scott Frost to keep his job. Uh, which, I mean, after after seeing the past couple of weeks, I think uh, Nebraska should be um, definitely in, or it should be definitely possible for them to get to six wins. But, I mean, it's a very huge matchup for both these teams here in Michigan State here in week four. Let's get to the prediction, though. Nebraska, Michigan State. I've gotten the Spartans getting the win here in this matchup, 27 to 24. It is going to be very close. This will be a great matchup between two very talented football teams. And, Michigan State, I've got them getting the win in the end. It's going to be very close. In fact, my probability for this matchup is 51%. First time I've ever done that. Usually it's I do it by uh, uh, by 5% intervals, so like 55%, 60%, etc. But I'm doing 51% Michigan State. This is basically a coin toss matchup for me. It is extremely tough to predict this one. I mean, you got two teams that are um, looking pretty good right now overall. And I think that Michigan State is... Uh, right now, with them being at home, that's the main reason why I'm picking Michigan State here. If Nebraska was at home, I'd be picking the Cornhuskers, but Michigan State is at home in a night game, so I'm going to go with the Spartans here. Uh, but just both these teams in general are playing pretty well right now, I will say. And so Michigan State, I think in the end, is going to get the win 27-24. I mean, the Spartans have got a lot to play for right now. I mean, a Big Ten East title is within reach right now for Michigan State. This team is still undefeated. I mean, Nebraska's got a lot to play for as well, which will make it an even more interesting game. But once again, I've got Michigan State getting the win in the end by three, uh, 27 to 24. Over-under is 51 and a half. I'm taking the under in this matchup by half a point. So I'm barely taking the under right now. Um, so yeah, if you're taking the over-under, definitely be cautious about this one because uh, it's it's it could easily go over as much as it could go under in this matchup for sure so that being said let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this matchup and i appreciate you guys all watching stay tuned for more from all sports central i'll see you later